Quant is about to test a major support level. And if that sounds interesting, you make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Bing the Charts here. Welcome back to another Quant analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. As you guys can see on Quant right now, we did test that support level here at the 160 once again and had a nice bounce. Now, yesterday I mentioned the fact that this, if this were to happen, we could definitely see a third test breakout formation. And as of right now, we can't say it's too soon for a clear bounce above. As you guys can see, we are testing the exponential moving averages, but we saw multiple bearish candlesticks. So right here, you can see that we had a nice little gravestone doji happen. And again, we had a nice clean breakout, but it's going to be very important for the bulls to actually try to get above this 174 level i wouldn't be surprised if we actually break above use this as resistance and then come back down to the 154 but that 154 level is definitely looking like it's going to be playing a lot of you guys in other videos have been asking why quant is lagging behind and it's because of the fact that quant already had its massive move before the moves of crypto recently Zooming out on the chart here, you can see that Quant actually hit that resistance level here at 154, finally got his breakout formation, and then the moves to the high side. Of course, a lot of you guys got extremely bullish here around the 220 mark, saying that Quant is actually heading for $400, but you guys have to pay attention to the overbought levels. You can see that every time Quant hit this overbought level, we had that price correction, and right now, just because we are trading a little bit higher between these resistance levels, doesn't mean that Quant is ready to make its next leg up. Ideally, what we want to see is a retest of a major support level possibly the 144 and then that continuation the reason why i emphasize the 144 is because you guys can see we had this manipulation wick right over here before we had the next leg up so ideally what we want to see is a retest on that support level find that as consolidation and then the larger move to the upside of course if that 144 level is broken then ideally what we would be looking for is around that 112 support because of the fact that that acted as a very key resistance level back here on the lower time frames for Quant, you can see we actually had a nice break above the exponential moving averages and currently using them as support. That's why the opportunity for us to actually see a retest around the 174 mark is, can definitely happen, but we have to be very, very careful. If we see that retest of the 174 mark and then get that confirmation back down, that's going to become extremely bearish for Quant. But if we do see a nice bounce above, find that as support and then a continuation, the next level of possibility would be retesting would be the 187 mark. Ideally, this 174 level Level is going to play for the fact that whether or not quant can actually break above or below but if we do see that move to the downside and whether or not this is going to act as a fake out we could see another rejection here at the exponential moving average right here at 170 get that liquidity and then break that 154 level but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in free 600 dollars bitcoin make sure to check out the link in the bio and i hope you guys have a wonderful day